heavy weapons like artillery, mortars, or shoulder-fired rockets. When you're training, you do it over and over again. Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, surrounded by veteran wounded warriors, announcing a bill to tackle a problem the military has been slow to address. Traumatic brain injuries that come from being exposed to shockwaves from gunfire and explosives. Combat veterans are increasingly being found to have brain damage similar to football players who've suffered multiple concussions. Inherently, our workplace as warriors, and you're looking at many of them here today with us, uh, is inherently dangerous. What we do, just training for our mission, is inherently dangerous. We deal with dangerous and lethal equipment all the time, but it can be done safely if we understand the impacts of that, and that's what this act will do. So we're so very thankful that you're doing it. Veteran Jose Ramos's battle scars from Iraq are clear to see, but that's not the case for veterans with brain injuries related to blast waves. Estimated around 458,000 individuals from 2000 to 2022 have experienced some sort of traumatic brain injury while in service. The aim of the new bill is to fund blast wave research, improve treatment, and reduce exposure. Our bill, the Blast Overpressure Safety Act, requires the Department of Defense to enact better blast overpressure screening, tracking, prevention, treatment. It would improve transparency regarding the weapons service members use.